Now, Shanjit Aid Agency is shocked and appalled by the number of children killed in Syria last week. What more can you tell us? That's right. That's right, Bevita. Well, investigations have found at least uh, 70 uh, children died as a result of a government missile strikes uh, against residential areas of Aleppo. And James Kelly has more. Carnage and despair in Aleppo. This footage, which cannot be fully verified, appears to show the aftermath of a missile strike by forces loyal to President Assad. Residents desperately search for survivors. It's a hopeless and heartbreaking task repeated many times in this northern city and made worse by the fact that many of the casualties are children. The destruction is on an industrial scale, whole areas reduced to rubble. Those monitoring this conflict say the use by the Syrian government of powerful ballistic missiles in cities represents a new low. The four strikes that hit Aleppo uh, last week obliterated entire parts of this neighborhood, sometimes destroying 30, 40 houses at, at, at a time. It killed at least uh, 140 people, half of them being children. A and, and we have absolutely no sign that there were any uh, legitimate uh, military targets in these areas. The destruction in Syria goes far beyond Aleppo. More unverified footage posted on the internet show shelling in Damascus continues by night and by day. The UN's Children's Agency has condemned the recent killing of at least 20 children here. They died last week when a large car bomb exploded near their school. The Syrian government called it an act of terrorism, a description it's given to the entire uprising. Away from the fighting, at a meeting of the Friends of Syria group in Bulgaria, more criticism for President Assad's forces. We are, ladies and gentlemen, indebted to the people of Syria. We owe them our strong support in their struggle against a tyrannical regime that has no respect for human life and dignity. But back in Aleppo, international condemnation offers no protection. In this video, again unverified, a man wonders whether the tank is targeting him. He doesn't hang around for an answer. In moments of calm in Aleppo, mourners pay respects to their dead. They know that next time, the prayers could be for them. James Kelly, BBC News. In other news now, the US Senate has voted to confirm Chuck Hagel as the next Secretary of Defence. His appointment